Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array. When I first started learning to use Premiere Pro, I was really young. And there was one thing that I wanted to do more than anything else. I wanted to make it look like I could do the impossible. Things like making fire start with your bare hands, or just using your mind to pull something towards yourself. Things that literally can't happen, but you can make it look like you're doing it by reversing your footage. I was obsessed with this feature, but then we all grew up. And we as editors started to realize that there's not a lot of opportunities to use those sorts of tricks in, say, a corporate video. But that doesn't mean the technique is lost, or that it doesn't serve any purpose. In fact, there's a lot of great reasons to reverse your footage. And today, we're going to go over three of them. Starting out with number one, nail the perfect move. If you're a bit of a perfectionist, kind of like me, then you've probably been really frustrated at times when you're trying to push in for a really cool shot, where you have something really close up and in focus at the end. But you can't seem to nail the landing. You overshoot, you undershoot, your focus is off. You can't keep it centered. Urgh, it's frustrating. But you can shortcut this by planning your shot in reverse, starting at the end. Have your object in focus, like you would want to have it in at the end, and then go through the motion in reverse. By doing this, you can take the difficulty of getting the object in focus at the end and make sure you've got it right, right at the beginning. Now in editing, right click on your clip and select speed duration, and then reverse speed. Now your shot plays just like you imagined it, and your landing could not be more precise. Number two, make graphics and elements act symmetrically. Let's say that you want to animate a lower third to enter into frame. Seems pretty simple, right? But now let's say you don't just want it to leave, you want it to leave exactly the same way that it entered. So you try to keyframe it to match perfectly, and then you tweak this and tweak that, and end up with something similar, but not quite exact. The thing is, you can actually get an exact match by going through a very simple process. Start by duplicating your clip. You can do this a couple different ways, but I find it's easy to just hold Alt or Option, then click and drag it over so that it's right beside your original. Now for your second duplicated clip, right click and go to speed duration, and then reverse speed. Now your element is leaving exactly the same way that it came in. No tweaking necessary. And finally, number three, make your audience uneasy. This one tends to have a little bit more use case in narrative work. Have you ever wanted to make your audience feel uneasy? Like something was kind of wrong? One way that people have done that traditionally is to reverse your footage when there's not much happening. Depending on what's in your shot, you may just capture your visuals in a way that feels just enough to be off, but not enough to be jarring. For example, in the past, films have used this technique to manipulate a shot of somebody holding a cigarette. Now stop. We don't endorse smoking here at Motion Array. It's not good for you. So instead, we're going to have somebody holding a blown out candle. So in this shot, we just have the item burning, releasing smoke. But now we bring it into Premiere Pro, and we reverse the clip just like we did for all the others, and we're left with a shot that at first glance hasn't been manipulated, but if you look at the direction of the smoke, it's behaving contrary to the way that it normally would in real life, giving you the feeling that something just isn't quite right. It's subtle, and used in the right situations can make your audience feel exactly what you want them to feel. And guys, that's it. Those are three reasons to reverse your footage. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, we've got tons of other tutorials on Premiere Pro, After Effects, and even filmmaking in general. Thank you so much for watching. Consider giving it a like, subscribing, or even sharing it with a friend. And I hope to see you in the next video.